Hello there, and thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm Tim, and this is Digital Armour, a channel all about old CCGs, and in this case, TCGs, and sometimes some magic these days, who knows? So Lord of the Rings trading card game was launched by a company called Decipher Inc. way back in 2001 to tie in with the films. So this booster box is from the first set, Fellowship of the Ring, and each film had three sets with it. It had a huge first set, so Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, and I can never remember what the third one's called, Return of the King. And then there were two smaller sets, so the two small sets for the Fellowship block were Minds of Moria and something about the Elf Lords, which I can't remember either. It's been nearly 20 years. So inside this box we have got uh, 36 packs of 11 card booster packs so this is yeah all tightly sealed it's got the decipher printing on it so no tampering here hopefully let's just see if I can do this without injuring myself or the box so those of you that will have seen any of my sort of product opening booster box opening videos in the past will know two things I generally tend to waffle about nostalgia and I'm atrocious at opening actual booster packs of cards whether it be magic or I really struggled the other week with the Star Trek CCG boxes that I was opening but oh well so there we go we've got the box set up there hopefully they're just in piles of 12 what I never understood when people do booster box unboxings is why they then remove the boosters from the box when the box is there and it's got them all nicely nicely sort of in so I'll just skew that off to one side get the scissors out of the way and we're just going to crack in so yeah 11 cards per pack and we've got one rare three uncommons and seven commons there is randomly inserted one foil in every six packs so in theory we should get six foils ish and there's 365 cards in total realms of the elf lords that was the other set so yeah let's just dive straight in that's not too bad so starting off in the packs we have just gonna fix the focus there the three uncommons to begin with so we've got a swan ship of the Galadrim. We've got a location, Rivendell Valley. That's pretty cool. And we've got one of the Nazgul at Uncommon. If you want to see my breakdown of my limited understanding of the rules and what all of this means, then please have a look at this video uh, where I go over the starter decks and the contents of those for the Fellowship of the Ring. That's kind of my explanation of my understanding of the story. And then for our rare, we've got Galadriel, Lady of Light. That is absolutely fantastic. So we're going to have uncommons there. We're going to have rares there. And commons will probably just sit over there because obviously there's going to be a lot of them. I won't go through the commons, but we will have a flick through them sort of at that kind of a pace so that you can just see them. And if you wanted to pause any of them, you can. Where the foil comes in is it's random so it could be replacing one of the uncommons it could be replacing the rare it could be replacing the common but it doesn't come in a certain slot in the pack like it does with magic and i quite like that to be honest it's good that they put the uncommons in the rare first as well i guess so we've got foul creation all blades perish we've got another location slopes of airman hen and the rare is a condition thin and stretched so that's for the dark side as it were and then the commons just a quick flick through these hobbit party guest awesome so i haven't seen these films in a little while and yeah i really need to get hold of them and re-watch them and they are absolutely wonderful films some of the effects have aged um a little bit badly but the spirit and the love in them is there and yeah they're just so good to watch so we've got a prancing pony uncommon fantastic we've got an uruk slayer and then a rare here is a servant of secret fire so we've got an event 
spot Gandalf. So I don't know if that's the same as in Magic where you just have to have Gandalf there and then it does its trick. And then through the Uncommons, what's that one called? Lightfootedness. So yeah, we'll be seeing a lot of repeats in here. So we've got a Frodo, son of Drogo. So he's uh, one of the only ring bearers in the game so far. And then later on, they uh, actually made cards for other ring bearers. You could get a card of Isildur, uh, which was pretty cool. Uncommons here. So let Folly be our cloak. Seeking it always. We've got a green dragon in. We're getting lots of uncommon um, locations in these starting packs. And the Twilight World is our rare. Then got Saruman's Chill, Goblin Scimitar, and so on. As we make our way through there. So we're not doing too badly on time, I think. So we're on for, for maybe a, a 20 minute video here. We will have to wait and see. So we've got a Halfling Deafness. Another location, Ford of Brunen. And we've got Asphaloth. So this is Arwen's horse. Awesome. So we've got where she summons the uh, water cascade. <laughs> I can't remember what happens. And then we've got her actual horse there as well. We've got Orthanc Assassin as the rare. Haven't seen any uh, foils yet. And we are five packs in. Got an Intimidate and no foils there in Hobbit Appetite. Love it. <sighs> Bringing back so many memories. So I believe that it was the Fellowship of the Ring set that I got when I was younger. Uh, like I say, 2001, so I was 16, 17 at the time. And yeah, I think I got this first set and then went to uni and obviously... Um, yeah, then stop playing cards for quite a while. We've got a Goblin Domain as our rare here. No foils, unless there's any back here. No, nothing. So we've opened six packs and yeah, just going to be just going to be our luck that nothing uh, comes of this in terms of foils. Dwaro Delph Chamber, not easily destroyed. A Ranger's Versatility, and we got All Veils Removed as our rare. Very cool. And then, oh, that's our first foil. That's quite hard to make out. It's not a all-over foil. It just sort of highlights bits like you can see there on the bow and sort of around the card in certain areas. That's lovely. So we're going to pop that there, even though it is a, a common. And then, yeah, just flick through those. Hey, so we're off the mark with the foils. Awesome. Super happy with that. Okay, so we've got Frodo's bedroom when he's being looked after at um, Elrond's place. Can't remember the name of his gaff, but yeah, it's there. Our rare here is Denizen's Enraged. Pop that down there and then... Our commons. So we've got a Pippin. So they do uh, a lot of the main characters are common and uncommon. And then they also have a rare version of them as well. Lovely stuff. Get out of there. No ordinary storm. All thoughts bent on it. And we've got ancient enmity. Our rare is Journey Into Danger, so it's a condition. And then flicking through the commons. Oh, is that another foil? Yes, it is. They're so hard to make out. So we've got another foil there, Strength Born of Fear. And yeah, there we go. There's a one ring. So I was missing one of those from the starter decks. So that will fill that in nicely. Foes of Mordor, Bilbo's Pipe. So we had some Pipe Weed in one of the starter decks and now we've got the Pipe. We've got Tall Brandir as they go cruising down the rivers. We've got the rare version of Boromir, Lord of Gondor. One does not simply just pull a Boromir, but we have today. That is fantastic. 
And then we've got commons. So let's have a flick through for any shininess. No, nope, not in that pack. Hey, we got a named character rare. That is super cool. These packs are opening quite nicely for me as well. I've probably cursed it now, but <laughs> yeah, happy with that. So we got the uncommon version of Boromir, Barnuman Butterbur. We got the Farmer Maggot's Fields, and then our rare is uh, Celeborn, one of the elves. Fantastic. So we got another named character rare. And go through the commons, no foils there. Nearly at the end of pile one from the box, so that's all right. We've got Aragorn's pipe here. We've got Rosie Cotton, Hobbiton Lass. Wow. And then we've got Silver Load Banks as a location. And our rare here is an Uruk Lieutenant. Cool. We've got Merry, so we've had Pippin, and now we've got Merry, so we should have pretty much most of the. Uh, Fellowship, I believe. I think we're missing a Gandalf, other than the, the fixed starter set Gandalf. Through the Misty Mountains. Green Hill Country. Looks so pretty. Gift of Boats. And then the rare is Troop of uruk -hai. So we don't just get a single one, we get a whole load of them. And then going through the commons, we've got old Toby Pipeweed and so on. A few characters, some events and so on. So there we go, we've reached the bottom on one of the sections. Uh, Uruk High Rampage is the first uncommon. We've got Shores of Nairn Hithoril. A Blade Tip. That would look really nice in foil actually to get that in foil and we've got orc butchery as the rare no foil present there cool so let's just keep on plowing through hopefully you guys are able to sort of make out what's going on with the cards so they're really nicely formatted on here they do have some flavor text on them as well which is always good to see quotes in the film I think they're just from the film rather than the book. Obviously, the two differ, um, especially in this opening stage. They differ quite a lot. Uh, Tolkien's words were quite sort of dense and rich, and I think that Peter Jackson did, and his uh, compatriots, Fran, and I forget the other lady who wrote with them. Uh, I think they did a really excellent job of representing the books as best they could in the films. We got the rare Legolas as well, Greenleaf, so that's fantastic that we've got a couple of the rare characters. Have a flick through for foils. <laughs> Hobbit intuition hiding in a bush. No foils in that pack. So we've only got two actually, so we're probably well behind the curve on foils with this. There's the uncommon version of Legolas. Got a location, got Black Breath, and the rare is Farmer Maggot. Awesome. Chaser of Rascals. This game is so cute. That is so funny. Awesome. And then we're just into the commons. There's the so close to the to the one one does not simply pose. I wonder if anyone's made a fan card of that for this game. Let's wait and see. I'm not 100% sure if there is a players committee for this game like there is with uh, Star Wars and Star Trek. I'll have to look that up. So we've got an Uruk Spy and still no foils going on, unfortunately. Haven't had a single uncommon or rare foil in this box. It's starting to make me sad. So we've got one of the Nazgul there, we've got the Passage of Karandras, Orc Hunters, and the rare is Strength of Kings, so it's an event. We've got a Moria Scout, and that's a foil as well, you can see the teeth and eyeballs glowing, so yet another common foil. Sometimes, apparently, there have been known to be sort of double foils in these packs. I doubt that we'd 
get that lucky here at Digital Llama. Say we, it's just me, isn't it? So Rivendell Terrace, Ranger's Sword, Stand Against Darkness, and the rare is Spies of Saruman. I thought I saw a little reflection there, but no such luck. And then nothing in the commons, another Frodo there. So if you're into uh, Lord of the Rings still, what I'm interested to know is how many of each card should you really keep in a collection? Should you keep maybe three of each card or do you just really sort of need one of each? Um, especially the ones with the, with the pips on. Or do you just hoard as many as you can? Uh, would be really interested to know down in the comments. I'm tempted to keep three of each card maybe. And then that way, if I'm building a deck with uh, characters, then I've got the option to put one in each of the decks and then one still in the ring binder. A Sword of Minas Morgul. Master Proudfoot. Fantastic. Distant relative of Bilbo. We've got a Curse from Mordor. And the rare is Bent on Discovery. So another dark side um, wraith culture. Uh, condition card. We've got another common foil. I don't think we're going to have any luck with getting the rares. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. Nice little hint of it around there. And then we can just skip out those commons We're nearly to the end of the second stack. And that's a tough one to open. Do it old school at the top there like that okay so Saruman's power tower lieutenant we've got Emil Mule and our rare is Gandalf so we've got the rare version of Gandalf friend of the shy folk <laughs> there he's looking mischievous with his fireworks this film, this first film, is my favourite out of the three of them, and it's mostly because of the Shire scenes and the fil the the scene where Gandalf rolls into Hobbiton uh, on his cart, and him and Frodo have their little chat. That just blows me away every time. I love that moment. And no shinies. Oh well. So yeah, as you can see what I mean uh, at the beginning about me rambling, I do like interjecting uh, rather than just ripping straight through the packs. And I do try to give everyone sort of the chance to see each card. A lot of uh, unboxing channels of things, especially Pokemon. People go so fast with Pokemon, it's crazy. Enduring Evil. And we've got another pip in there, but nothing else of note. We're probably going to need to start a second stack of commons because that's about to tower over and what people also do in the pokemon uh, community is they will reverse it so they'll count out the cards face down and then you'll go through the commons first and i've just stitched myself up there we go you go through the commons and then you hit the uncommons and then you finish up on the rare and it is the nine walkers so yeah that's pretty cool Still not foil though. But I'm not going to do any of that faffing around with putting things into order here. So those are our uncommons and we've got questions that need answering as a um, Gandalf culture event. Got another Sam there. So yeah, we've probably got maybe 10 packs left with which to hopefully get another two foils in. So we've got Rivendell Waterfall. Their power is in terror. We've got Athelas. We've got a Sam, the rare version of Sam as well, Faithful Companion. Fantastic. So Bill the Pony was a card in this set that was referenced, but doesn't actually exist. You don't get Bill the Pony until Mines of Moria. So just like the Balrog, as well so that's cool we've got another rare named character and then we've just got a load of commons we've got another one ring getting the rare version of the one ring would be really cool i'd happily get that and not any more shinies 
I'd, yeah, I think I'd make that trade. So we got the uncommon version of Gimli, Path Seldom Trod On. We got Orofin. That's uh, an uncommon. And then we got one of the rare Nazgul. Awesome. Ulair Atia, Keeper of Dol Guldur. Need to brush up on my on my <laughs> um, uh, Tolkien language skills. We got a Hobbit Farmer. And no foils in there. So let's blast through these final few packs. Uh, you're all getting the idea by now of what's in here. We got Stone Trolls as the rare. Really building up speed. So we've got another elf, one of the allies. We've got Weathertop as a location. That's really cool. So it bestows fierce to Nazgul in that location. We've got ourselves an Uruk Guard. And we've got another foil. We've got Uruk Brood. So that's pretty cool. Flick through those. Oh, there's another dwarf at the back. Brilliant. So, Malorn Trees. Another Nazgul. Not going to try and pronounce that. We've got Bree Streets. Dark Whispers as our rare. We've got a load of commons there, starting off with the old old Toby. Another dwarf in the uncommon slot. We've got the East Road and Sauron's defences. And then in the rare slot, we've got Mithril Shaft. Giggity. And then the commons there. Drawn to its power, Anduin Confluence as a location. We've got Haldir. Don't think we've seen him yet. And we've got Arwen's Fate as our rare, so an elven event. And then nothing of note going through the commons. Let's get rid of the box now. So we've got four packs remaining. Not doing too bad on time. We're going to be well under the half hour mark. So that's something to celebrate, I guess. We've got, we've got another location again. The number must be few. And then we've got the choice of Luthien. Cool, so another elvish condition as our rare. We've got no foils there. How are we doing? So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Technically we're owed a sixth one. And they've all been common as well. Okay, so we've got Brownlands. Don't think we've actually seen that location yet, so that's cool. No Stranger to the Shadows. We've got Worry and Lutz's Battle Cry as the rare here. And then, nope. Okay, penultimate pack. Here we go. These packs have actually been quite easy to open. I've surprised myself. The gaffer's pipe for this one. And then the rare is Aragorn. Fantastic. So we've got another named character as a rare. Absolutely loving that. Cool. And another hobbit farmer at the back. Sweet. Okay, last pack. Can we finish it off? On a super high note with a foil rare or not. We've got the mithril mine. We've got Gandalf's cart. We've got Morgul Stork Skulker. And we've got an Orc Bowman to finish it off. So not in foil there. But we did get a foil location. Yeah, I'm going to claim that as a victory because that looks stunning. Foil Rivendell Waterfall. Awesome. And then a load of comments to follow. So what I'm going to do is just let's quickly sort of refocus the camera down to the bottom. So we've got our six foils. I'm probably most pleased with that one there. And then out of all of the rares, we've got ourselves an Aragorn. We've got anything else? 
there's a rare Nazgul, so that's something to, to be excited about. We've got ourselves a Sam. We've got ourselves a Gandalf. We've got Farmer Maggot, because why not? Legolas. Uh, Celeborn. And Boromir, of course. And I think that was it. Everything before that was not too exciting. Oh, Galadriel. So, yeah, there has been some... Some pretty pretty sweet pulls, to be honest there, so I'm definitely not complaining about that. So there's going to be some more Lord of the Rings content coming soon. I've got a deluxe starter set coming, and I've got the starter decks for the Minds of Moria expansion as well. Uh, might possibly get some gameplay footage of this game going. That's going to be really, really exciting. But if you made it this far, then why not hit the subscribe button if you haven't already? Uh, really means a lot. Stay tuned for even more old CCG and TCG goodness and possibly some MTG if I'm feeling like it. Have a fantastic time and I'll catch you all soon. Cheers.